Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Snowy Sled Dog Saga. We're we're here with Ashley. Ashley, hang on, wait for us. We're we're here with Ashley, who is finally, finally, finally feeling like herself again now that she has hit the slopes. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at her go. She is just so energized, and she is doing such a great job of the snowboarding, even though it happens to be like after midnight. Look at her! She is just in top form, and I no longer feel so bad for her having not been snowboarding for a little while, so it caused her snowboarding skills to disappear, because she has already made it all the way up to level 5 in like one night, so I think the idea that her skills just really started returning to her after she had the moment of clarity up on those slopes is just so perfect, and I totally forgot for weeks now because we have been working on all of the other drama, but she is is trying to complete that extreme sports enthusiast aspiration where she needs to perform high intensity skiing or snowboarding on an intermediate or expert slope. She needs to successfully reach the peak of Mount Komoribi and um, Komoribi, Robi, ah, there we go. And she needs to endure a in, she needs to endure an injury sustained from skiing, snowboarding, or rock climbing, which I guess would totally make her feel like, yes, now I am like a real now I, now she wants to just like do some sit-ups. Now I'm like a real extreme sports person. I'm doing this just right. Oh, there she goes. Ooh, ouch. Was that an injury? No, and look at her. She's like, I don't care. I'm back on it. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, hey, Iggy. Iggy, what do you have there? Oh my gosh. Iggy, what? Give. Iggy, like, oh my gosh. Okay, that would actually stop her in her, in her like praise, I guess. I don't know what we're praising for. Oh, she brought us a little pile of feathers. Igloo. Wow. All right, like that's really cute. Let's give her a little hug and maybe feed her a treat to make sure she's not getting hungry. And feel the love, yes. Gimme, give gimme give those aspiration points from our puppy being so loyal and kind to us. Good girl, Igloo. <laughs> All right, and see, that's the other thing. We're here on the slopes so that we can remember how amazing it is to actually be out in the snowy world with our dogs. They love being here too. But we have gotten very distracted uh. with all of Ashley's work, and I think she just thrives when she's actually out in the wild, Siva. when she's really on the edge of those extreme sports. I mean, look at her. She's just like, I'm out in the great outdoors. She's feeling the rush from being able to do a lot of really good sledding. She's super energized from shredding the gnar, from having perfect snowboarding run. Um, I think when those traits start fading, we'll go ahead and let her go home because you, you don't want to spend the whole night out here, right? I mean, she kind of does, but still. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and stream with the drone, huh? Hey, cardinal feather, parrot feather, crow feather. That's really cool. Good girl. Good girl, Iggy. We'll go ahead and we'll give her... Let's encourage... Well, Chomper's asleep, I think. So we won't encourage her to breed right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll give her another really quick scratch favorite spot. Yeah. And then we'll see if anything about snowboarding sticks around. Igloo may have actually distracted us just long enough. All right, I think Igloo showing up and having something in her mouth was exactly the <laughs> reminder that we needed. Yeah, I think, and then as this fades, boom. Now we're just happy. We love our dog. We want to hug someone because we're happy. It's like two in the morning. Ayaka is feeling super uncomfortable and she just like took a huge nap that didn't give her a lot of energy in the hot spring. We'll go home. It's time to go home. <laughs> Time to go ahead and go home and get out of here um, and let the girls work on their next project in the morning. So, all right, let's head back and then I'm going to figure out what they're going to tackle next now that we've had the reawakening of Ashley's desire to be an extreme sports enthusiast. Oh, Ash! Oh, poor Ash. She was actually hiding under the covers because she was feeling so embarrassed. Oh, that's not what we want. That's absolutely not what we want. So at least she has come out from uh, hiding away. But look at that, you guys. 
all of the awesome moodlets, all of the excitement, everything that she had from last night, staying up super late, skiing the slopes, filled her with energy and hype. It's all gone now that we're back over at the house. Let's go share our insecurities with our puppers. Confide in security because she's feeling embarrassed. I think this is just a really great example that especially after that kiss with Kailano, Ash is really wanting to like figure out who she is so that she can try to think about this more clearly. So we're going to see if we we can combine all of the efforts that we are currently making with tackling all of the different challenges with uh oh, and actually speaking of all the different challenges we're gonna see if today will be the last day without puppies if we're lucky uh today sim day at least and we'll see if we can have any puppies with these two and if not i think that the snowy sled dogs might have to have some mystery foster puppies coming up pretty soon but we've just got so many challenges with the girls and they're trying to do so much to advance their life that i want to see if we can combine a way to do that more on the mountain to really fit Ashley's personality more. She's been getting super tense. I think she, like when she's down here, she feels like she's trapped inside all the time. And I think that she just really wants the clarity of the mountain so that she can figure out the clarity of just what may be going on in her life romantically. So we're going to go ahead and figure out if we can like advance all of their goals by keeping them up at different places on the mountainside. And Ayaka is going to help us out with that by studying the trends to Day. Maybe we can go record some of the video trends that we need up on the mountainside. Also, we need to work on Ayaka's goals of being able to write that fanfic for Yua, who really didn't seem to want to spend a lot of time with us when we were on the mountain. So unfortunately, strategy take Yua sledding completely just didn't work. She just ate a face full of snow. And so instead, let's see if Ayaka can work on getting that writing event out of the way for Yua, because we need to start making major cash, because at the moment we only have, let's check inside, I think I can check, add money, take money, uh, headline effects on, there we go. Yeah, right now we only have 1,656 simoleons in the bank dedicated to Ayaka getting the 25,000 simoleons that she needs to in order to impress her parents. And if we don't, if we have like Ayaka's reckoning and we don't have the 25,000 simoleons set aside, then I feel like something really bad may happen. Like Ayaka might have to either be disinherited from her family because they're really strict, or she might have to leave us and join a business career. No, Ayaka! So we're going to get serious about that for sure. So Ayaka is going to study the trends and then we'll see if we can manage to pull off what we need up on the mountain for the most part. I wish, wish, wish that editing these videos actually worked for us on the mountainside, but I think you have to like own the lot for that to happen. All right, mixology, video gaming, fashion tips, and sad vlogs are actually the, the videos that are currently trending. Huh, video gaming. Well, I mean, there's some options. All right, maybe we could pull that off on the mountainside. All right, come on, Ash. Let's go ahead and get you back on the mountain. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One last thing to do before we go. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to see. Encourage Igloo to breed with Chomper. And then let's go ahead and, like, harvest the roses and water our plants. All right, this will be the last thing we do before we get back onto the mountain and see <laughs> what we can pull off there. Okay. Chomper, somebody's coming for you. Is this going to be successful? Is the couch going to be in the way? Oh man. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Nope, Chomper's just barking at the fridge. Okay, well that wasn't very successful. Let's try again. Come on, because I know, I know that you guys really loved their first round of puppies, so we'll see if we can pull off round two. Yes! All right, we got more money coming in! See, that's very important for our daily royalties. Also, how do we determine how much money Ayaka has? Every Sunday, I will split however much is in their account in half, and Ayaka gets half, because she's basically half of the Snowy Sled Dog brand at the moment. And uh, I didn't do that yesterday, so I went ahead and did that just now, and that's how we figured it out. But Ayaka, all right! She wants to edit videos. She's ready. She's ready for this. We've got adventures to go on. Let's encourage the dogs to breed on the mountainside for crying out loud. Also, Kanako, take care of Pikachu while we're gone. <laughs> and Ashley's immediately feeling better. <laughs>
<laughs> she can't help it. I think that she just loves this mountain and loves being here. So we're going to try to find ways where we can do more of their work, but do it when we are actually on the mountainside, like coming here to a cafe. So we have gone ahead and tossed a cafe from the gallery up where the little onsen was. And we're going to see if this very snowy cafe where a lot of this stuff is outside, maybe for the, the people who really enjoy the cold. <gasps> Look how pretty the windows are. Wow. I've not had a chance to see how the windows will frost when it's this cold before. That's really lovely. But we're going to see if we can pull off the work we need to do here. So let's pop on in. Apparently it's a little crowded inside. Really cute. So let's come over. We'll claim a table. You know, I don't think anyone's going to mind sitting out in the snow. Uh, where's our laptop? There's our laptop. Can we video game? Web, computer security. Oh, why can't you not do like a ton of the computer things once you're out and about? You know what I think we need to do, guys? I think we need to get enough money that we can actually buy ourselves a itty bitty, teeny tiny, absolutely adorable cabin. That's what we need. How much money? Let's let's go cabin shopping. We're gonna go real estate shopping really quickly. How much money? would it take in order to go ahead and afford a teeny tiny itty bitty adorable little cabin that we could put on the like maybe i should go for tiny residential why not let's go for tiny residential and then let's see if we can come up with like a cabin give me a small tiny cabin there's no cabin <gasps> you're joking all right let's see popular now Anybody, anybody have, oh, there we go. So there are some teeny tiny cabins, a tiny house cabin. Oh, it's so small and we could probably make it cheaper. Oh, think about how cute that would be. There's even tiny snow cabins. Oh my gosh, that's like perfect. It's literally just an itty bitty snow cabin and it's like 14,000 simoleons. You know, I, I think that Ayaka and Ashley are going to be talking about getting their own little tiny micro cabin that we could go ahead and put up here. This one's only 6,000. It doesn't even have anything in it. This one's really cute. I like this one. We probably could make it cheaper if we like cut off some of the things and we emptied it out so there wasn't anything inside. I really like this one. Good job, Jadesh. I approve of it. We'll go ahead and save it to the library. And maybe we'll aspire to try to get this itty bitty teeny tiny cabin. Because <laughs> if it's a re like a lot we own, we can actually do more things on it. Uh, okay, we'll have to say the internet service is not very good up here. And that's probably why we're not able to. Can we not even like write? I was completely coming here with the Yaka so that we could try. Okay. Now, wait, why does a Yaka have more choices and Ashley doesn't? What? What is this nonsense? Okay, computer security, uh, unlock. <gasps> Ashley! What? I thought that was weird. Okay, well, maybe we don't need to go as extreme as, like, getting a cabin then. <laughs> it looks like it will actually work, and we could have the girls come here and just get to spend some really cool time working side by side. Computer security, unlock. So you just have to, like, unlock it every time. Oh my gosh, that, that was all that was in our way. I feel a little silly right now. Can we live stream though? Live stream, go to the computer, select live stream. Can you just, you should be able to live stream from anywhere. Come on. I could live stream from anywhere. All right. Web, funny videos, invest in stocks. I wonder if we'd put our money in the stock market and try to make the most of that. We can play a game. It doesn't look like we can live stream. However, we can actually work on our social media thing for once. Heck and heck, that's what I want. Huh. All right, I'll have to see if maybe I can get like... Oh, and maybe we could get a lifestyle coach when the time comes, you guys. Maybe we could look for a lifestyle coach to, to make Ashley feel... Oh, that's actually a good job! Oh, I like that idea. You know what? I feel like Ashley's a little unsure about how she feels. And Ayaka has been, about Kailano, and Ayaka has actually been thinking about getting her wellness skill back up because she lost so much of it on the skill day. So let's actually have the girls on their next free day. When is Ashley not working? Tomorrow. So tomorrow, let's actually add an event 
or we'll make it a holiday. There we go. And we're going to have like a insightful, let's see. There's not really, I want more little markers here. We'll put a tree. I like trees. Trees are calming. <laughs> All right. And this is actually going to be um, a wellness reflection day. And we're going to appreciate the object and we're going to do some yoga. I like that idea. We'll travel. And then is there like appreciate a person? Woohoo. No, no, no. Thank you. All right. Maybe make a resolution. That sounds like something that you should do on wellness reflection day. So we're going to have them maybe travel to do some yoga, maybe here on the mountainside. And we might have Ashley go ahead and book a, a lifestyle coach to help her talk about her single and loving it. And we'll say that was Ayaka's idea because she's really clever that way. All right, Ayaka, get over here. Let's see what we can have them actually work on. We can't edit a video here because the video station we'd have to own. So maybe we still want to, you know what? I think we still want a cabin. Let's talk about dreams with someone and we're going to talk about getting a cabin. Here we go. All right, let's come on over. Describe new idea. Where's the dreams? Give repair tips for fame. Propose crazy scheme. Talk about dreams. There we go. All right. And then call someone on the phone. Buy a thermostat. Become confident. Let's not forget confident. I'm pretty sure Ashley can become confident now that she's on the mountainside from chalking her hands. That's focused. Do pre climb stretching, I think. All right. And now Ayaka is ready to start writing a new book. Nice, nice. Let's have her come over. And I'm going to have her write a genre book, children's short story. I don't think she can actually write write a love email huh i don't think she can actually write a can she write a flirty book if i make her feel flirty let's get her over here and we'll have her start reading a book she'll go off to read a book while ashley feeling super excited oh she needs to level up charisma skill i wonder if ashley might just want to like maybe talk to people to level up her charisma skill in fact let's have ash level up her charisma skill by bringing the people who are in Shred the Slopes over. Uh, are there any more Sims who have rock climbing? Friendly, share jokes. Uh, let's see. Ziva is actually, it could be in the Shred the Slopes. Kalano could be there. But I feel like maybe, oh, look at Mariko. Let's, let's invite a couple new people in just for a minute. And then let's have Tetsuya. And then Haruki, like uh, Etsuko. There we go. Uh, we'll invite those people over and let's actually start a gathering. Uh, there we go. And this is for rock climbing, be friendly, and we'll try to get her charisma up that way. Now she's feel okay. That was the focus. Hey, James. <laughs> Is there, let's brighten his day. Why not? That's how we can go ahead and try to like establish our charisma is brightening his day. What? That's so cool. And Mariko's here. We'll go ahead and brighten her day. I just like the idea that this isn't really a club. These are just people who showed up today and are excited to actually like be rock climbing and do other things. All right, we'll brighten day for everybody. And then we might go ahead and like get to the slopes. Where did you go, woman? What, mixology skill. <gasps> we could do something with a mixology skill. Maybe we could be like mixing up, um, mixing up protein drinks and stuff inside. Or maybe we could just pretend it's a review of the cafe. Huh, so we could record a video about that too. Well, let's come over. I actually wanted her to read her flirty book so we could see if we could get the uh, wands of desire so we could see if she can become flirty as a result. What? Where are you going? All right, fine. You want to be inside where it's warm. I can't really blame you. All right. And then meanwhile with Ash, let's let her go ahead and brighten more days. Compliment outfit. There we go. And we'll see if we can get her charisma skill up this way. 
we'll just kind of chat with the people who are here and then maybe go rock climbing with some of them. I think that'll work out fine. And that could be good for her job. So level up charisma. It kind of happens slow. Look at that. That's cool. It kind of happens somewhat slowly. Oh, what's going on over here? Heidika uh, really wants us to go visit him, which is interesting, but not really what we're here for. Cute. She's reading the book while ordering a little coffee. That's kind of adorable. All right, meanwhile, we're feeling super focused with the group here. Come on, come greet people. Let's see. Compliment outfit. Just like, I want all of these big socials. Oh, this kid is hanging out with Chomper. I wonder if Chomper likes kids. We'll compliment outfit. We're feeling un unfinished business because James is here today, which is kind of funny. In fact, maybe we can just like target James for a little bit and just give him lots of compliments. Alright, hold still, James. We're gonna try to brighten your day. I saw that charisma skill there for just a second. And then let's compliment his outfit. Uh, all right, he's still feeling cranky. All right, this is good. This is good. A bunch of people who enjoy Brighton Day. A bunch of people who happen to really enjoy rock climbing all together. All right. And I just have to, like, be on top of the socials. We'll try to brighten James's day. And then maybe we'll go ahead and try to brighten her day. Oh, hey, you look familiar. Oh, he told me! We could brighten cheerful introduction! A fan has come! Maybe we can show ourselves off to a fan, and we'll we'll work on that. We can get maybe some fame and brighten the day of a fan. All right, and meanwhile, are we feeling... We're totally caught up in reading the Wands of Desire at the moment. I think we're blocking everyone else from being... Yay, we finished reading a book! Sweet! Did that make her feel flirty, though? Because I was under the impression that maybe once you finish a book, you got, like, that moodlet from it? Did that not genre romance? But interesting! Okay, so maybe that's not how it works, and I just don't know how that functions, but we'll try writing a new book then. All right, we finished reading Wands of Desire. We will try writing a screenplay, and we'll try to make this a cool fanfic that we can get pretty excited about. Stop trying to order stuff and come over and level up by like complimenting everyone. Where'd that fan go? Here she is. All right, friendly, cheerful introduction. All right, see, we're gonna find a way where we can spend time over here and be on the mountainside and manage to get all of these skills going. It happened one lunch break. <laughs> all right, a fateful, uh, a fateful, uh, what would we call this? A fateful lunch, desire for lunch, or a fateful um, cafe encounter. Let's see. So a fateful cafe encounter in an AU, in an alternative universe uh, setting, the two hottest characters ever in, let's see, the two hottest characters ever in anime history run into one another at the new cafe in town. Uh, the new cafe in town. And manage to... And the main character manages... Uh, ah! The secret menu! With a secret menu. There we go. <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. So hopefully we'll be able to get that written and given to you as so we can have that out of the way and then meanwhile let's come over and with this fan look we we'll need to brighten her day compliment her outfit a little easier to target her we'll flatter her i mean she likes us oh look at that yeah i think we are managing to get somewhere let's see oh we can offer to make her over and get fame from that oh maybe we could offer to like 
oh, we could offer to do the makeover to get fame for people, but like make over their winter outfits. That sounds really cool. All right, we'll brighten her day. Man, this, this other person, oh, these people are fans too. This woman is just like terrifying a child though. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's try brightening her day. All right, come on, Charisma Skill. I think we're getting somewhere. Compliment her outfit. I like that idea of maybe getting some fame in the future by going ahead and doing makeovers for people because I unlock that for everyone in a mod. And then we can say that the makeovers will be for something specific, like cold weather gear. Yay! All right, we are really close. We'll flatter her again. We are really, really close to like leveling up that charisma skill just off of like flattering everybody around. Very cool. And hopefully we'll get more fame with our fans as a result too. Actions. So close, so close. Come on. We have about favorite singers. All right, someone else chat with Mouse. I'm trying to come up. Uh, oh, let's chat with this little kid, of course. I don't think we can maybe flatter him, but a cheerful introduction to a young fan who maybe saw us on the slopes. Yes, so close. Oh, we can brighten his day though. I would love to level up by brightening a kid's day. Is this woman, oh, yes, my Sims are becoming pregnant without my help. Oh, I love when townies end up creating families on their own. All right, where'd the kid go? Oh, he's right over here. He's being... Is he taunting us? What a little, what a little, like, goof. Oh my gosh, he is totally taunting us. Can I not brighten his day anymore? What a kidlet. All right, fine. We're going to leave him alone. And then, let's see. This isn't exactly how I planned. Is this a fan too? This is a fan too! We're going to greet our fans and just, like, brighten their days. That should work out pretty well. Meanwhile, I like how other people, like the townies, even when we're not interacting with this club activity that's going on, I really love how the townies actually get to start forming friendships without us. That's really special. Maybe when we do, maybe sometimes if we send a sim on a date or something, we could have a, like, a club where doing romantic socials with, with people is important, and then we can start setting up romances without our without like being involved we'll just really have to watch the people that we're working with oh no now we're feeling a little embarrassed oh but we just leveled up sweet and we got some money for it ashley can now start social network on a computer we happen to already have that or practice storytelling in a mirror and perform flirty introduction to other sims yay okay so we leveled up our charisma awesome we can't live stream here we do want to get a promotion that's really cool to see her wanting that and we want to become energized. So I think we've spent enough time working with all of these people. We're going to drink energy juice and become hyped. And then let's hit the rock climbing wall. Oh, I forgot how we set up a little camp over here and everything too. Because uh, Ashley does want to... You know what? Let's actually go skiing. We'll send her skiing. Because hopefully she'll be able to just hit those slopes, have a great time. Or snowboarding, pardon me. And let's send her down high intensity on the expert slope. Yes. All right. There. And then getting her back out there should really let her have a chance to feel like, wow, and we can actually be part of a conversation while we're writing. That's so cool. Oh, but we're getting super hungry. I guess we're having a hard time writing this fanfic for Yua to get her off our back. <laughs> But this is a lot of fun, you guys. Wow. All right. Look, other people have gotten out their little computers to, like, work on things, too. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, we'll try to spend more time here on the slopes. And when we do that, hopefully it will let us send Ashley out to have a great time and give us more creative opportunities to level up skills. I really like that she ended up running into a bunch of, like, snowboarding fans who happen to be on the mountainside. And so we leveled up by introducing ourselves to them and introducing ourselves to some of the fans that she's got. Did that help her fame at all? I don't think it really helped her fame. So it's not really helping us with getting videos for Ayaka to be able to edit. And I still think that having a um, 
having a cabin over here would be best because then we could edit our videos while we're actually up here. So I think the girls are going to have to work on uh, getting a whole bunch of money for that and also work on figuring out the future of how we're going to cope with you know the whole romance thing that's going on i think that that ashley needs to come clean about that at some point to ayaka <laughs> oh my goodness all right but i'm pretty happy with this i like the idea of having them like on the mountainside get off my computer go away lady like get off go away but I'm really happy with the idea of just having them on the mountainside and what is going on? Oh my gosh, that little kid came into the cafe and just like threw all of the chocolate stuff everywhere. I don't even know how to interpret that. Oh my goodness, that kid. Wow. We're going to angrily eat a scone. <laughs> but I like this. We'll make it work somehow, somewhere. We will make it work. And Ashley, at some point... We are going to need to get you earning more money by making more videos, my friend, especially if maybe we'll put we'll start adding the pressure to maybe need to be more of a rising star like the mountain trials is this weekend. So we'll start putting on the pressure and saying that she really needs to be able to see some progress with that stardom, especially at the very least by the time we get to Yaka's reckoning. So all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining along in their adventures today. I love how working with our snowy sled dogs is really helping me get closer and closer to hopefully coming up with some really fun ways to change all of my Sims 4 gameplay. Ooh, sorry about that, Ash. You do need to get an injury, though, so maybe that's a good thing. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.